Hi, I'm Don from Don Drones On. Today's announcement by the drone market leader DJI of a sub-250 drone, the Mavic Mini, is a watershed moment in the world of drones. The first fully featured drone that can fly, quite literally, below the radar of most countries' drone regulations. GPS navigation, collision sensors, 4km range, 3-axis gimbal, 2.7K camera, and 31 minutes of flight time. Oh, and foldable. Yeah, it ticks all the right boxes and without the baggage of government rules. At 249 grams, it is one paperclip below the limit where countries like Canada, the US and the UK, to name a few, require drones to be registered. So let's take a look at what it means to fly a Mavic Mini in Canada, where some of the world's tightest drone regulations are in effect. First off, you don't need to register it. You don't have to take the drone pilot exam, not even the basic exam. You don't even have to be 14 years old. And you don't have to be a Canadian citizen. Finally, a break for the tourist industry. Wow, so that must mean I can do anything, right? Not so fast. While most Canadian drone regulations apply to drones over 250 grams, there is one rule that applies to any remotely piloted aircraft, and that includes the Mavic Mini. Rule number 900.06, reckless or negligent operation. This rule says, no person shall operate a remotely piloted aircraft system in such a reckless or negligent manner as to endanger or be likely to endanger aviation safety or the safety of any person. In short, don't be stupid. So let's check out a few cases of do's and don'ts. And by the way, everything I say here is my opinion only. I don't work for or represent Transport Canada, and I'm not a lawyer. So with that said, let's start with where you can fly. With the Mavic Mini, you can, for example, fly within five kilometers of an airport or even in controlled airspace as long as you don't do anything stupid. So for example, in the Toronto area, you could take real estate drone shots or do roof inspections without any special certification or permission. But it doesn't mean you can inspect the roof of the air traffic control tower or do a droney of that Airbus on the runway. That would be reckless and negligent, also known as stupid. So, stay low and stay away from the airports. It will just take one Gatwick-like event to ruin it for everyone. Ruin it even more for everyone. Existing no-fly zones where drone weights aren't specified are still no-fly zones for sub-250 drones. These include national parks and some municipal parks. With a sub-250 drone, you can fly near people or even over people, and you could theoretically fly at outdoor concerts or sports events, the dreaded advertised event no-fly zones. Again, as long as you don't fly in a reckless or negligent fashion. So flying at moderate speeds at reasonable altitudes might be okay, but if you start knocking people's hats off or zipping around like an idiot, or flying in heavy winds, you're probably breaking the stupid rule. And while we're on the subject of people, privacy rules do still apply, regardless of the size of your drone. So stay out of other people's backyards and be respectful. Take a picture of your kid playing soccer? Yeah, that might be okay. But will the parents of the other kids on the team appreciate it? Or will they think you're a pedo? What about procedures and checklists and instruction manuals and all that other stuff? Well, with a sub 250 gram drone, none of those requirements apply. I would, of course, still encourage you to purchase the Drone Pilot Canada app. Of course, I'm sure you were expecting me to say that eventually. But honestly, you don't need to if you're flying a Mavic Mini. Lastly, alcohol and drugs. With the bigger drones, 
you have to be fit to fly and cannot have consumed alcohol within 12 hours. Well again, with a sub-250 drone like the Mavic Mini, this rule doesn't apply. But if you're drunk or you're stoned, you are more likely to do something reckless or negligent, and that would be, yep, stupid. So there you have it. Only one RPAS rule applies in Canada. The don't do anything reckless or negligent that might endanger manned aircraft or the safety of people rule. Sure, this is far from the first Sub-250 drone on the market, but in my opinion, the Mavic Mini is the first Sub-250 drone that people will be flying for serious photography and videos. And for that reason, this is a watershed moment. Thanks for watching. Please comment below. I'd love to hear your opinion of the Mavic Mini announcement. And while you're at it, hit the like button. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you won't miss my next video. Happy flying.